Hello everybody, this is Slim Kirby. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG. This is part 14, and today we're going to finish up what's left of the Forest Maze. At the end of this video, we're going to actually uh, be at the boss, but we're not going to fight the boss until Wednesday. I have something planned for the boss battle, and I need to get it done, so that's why it's going to be Wednesday and not tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be another Maze Game video. Okay, anyways, welcome to the Forest Maze. As you can see, Gino's there. But we're going to follow that one guy's instructions. Go left, left, uh, get into a fight, apparently. And this is going to be a short battle. Uh, this is going to be a short video. I'll go ahead and show this. So yeah, I have some planned for the boss battle on Wednesday. Uh, you can probably guess what it is if you remember what happened during the Mac video. But it's not going to be the same person. We're going to have someone new commentating. I will tell you who it is, but I don't want to spoil the surprise. Also, something I forgot to mention at the very beginning of this. If a character is down, uh, they're still going to receive all the experience, even if they're dead at the end of the battle. That's one thing I like about this game, because sometimes you just have trouble keeping your allies alive and it's kind of cool that they still get experience. Makes it a little bit easier, but hey, what the hell. <clears throat> As you can see, Mallow leveled up to level 6 and he learns a new attack called Psychopath. Psychopath does no damage. It actually is a whole different attack. If you use it on an enemy, it'll show you how much hit points the enemy has left. So it can be very useful if you want to know how much you need to... how much hit points are left on each boss or enemy. But, again, it's basically also just a wasting an attack move as well. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do is going to go right. Remember, this is all looking at Mario's point of view. So, yeah, we came from the north, so that means the right is going to be to the left if we're going the other way. And as you can see, we found a stump with a bunch of treasures in it. This is what the guy in Rose Town was talking about. So you get a mushroom, a few coins, uh, a flower, and more coins. So yeah, this is a pretty nice little secret here. And now that we're done with it, or not done, yeah we're done with it, okay we're gonna go up there, and now we're gonna make our way back to the beginning of the maze. <clears throat> And then, we're back here. We're gonna go ahead and save our game. And we're gonna keep going into the forest maze. Now uh, this time we're actually gonna follow Gino and get into another fight with an, um, a Manita or whatever they're called. I don't know if they're named. Something like that. And we're also gonna do a fight with a buzzer as well. I would cut these out, but since I'm pretty short on video time as it is, I don't think there's anything wrong with keeping them in. Also, Mario needs to level up so we can learn his next move as well. Those enemies are pretty easy to take out. They're, they are generally what you want to get into the battle the most with whenever you're trying to train here. Because buzzers can be killed in one hit, and Amanitas usually take just two turns. Mario reaches level 6 and learns Super Jump. Super Jump is probably his best attack in the game. He has some other moves, but I personally think Super Jump is where it's at. I'll get more into Super Jump later on in the series. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and continue on with the game. Uh, we're going to follow Gino in north. We're going to get into another buzzer battle. This time we're gonna run away though. So yeah. Get a mushroom and we get into the same buzzer battle again. So yeah. Also, at the very beginning of this episode, I tried out my new intro, if you didn't notice. 
I edited a few things from the original intro I posted on YouTube, but that's because I wanted to include the maze game and also fix a little of the other problems I thought were in there. Also in that room you have to kind of guess where Gino goes, but he goes to the left side. Then he follow him north again, and then, then he goes right, and in this room, where Gino went is actually the boss, so we're gonna go ahead and heal up and get ready for the boss. We don't have any flower tabs, uh, flower points are pretty much almost equal. So I think we're gonna go ahead and just stop the video here, and see you Wednesday when we fight the boss of Forest Maze. This is Slim Kirby, signing out.